Welcome back to another video. This is code for session 913 div 3. We're going to solve the fifth problem that is good triples. Let's see what the problem states. So we'll be given a non-negative integer n, n greater than or equal to zero. Let's say a triple of a non-negative integer is good if, uh, if the number is made up of like three integers that is a, b, c and the digit sum of each of the numbers on the LHS and the RHS are same or not. They gave you an example. They suppose uh, in the input they are giving you n equal to 26 and uh, a is given as 4 we are assuming this okay b is given as 12 and c is given as 10 the sum of uh, these three numbers is 26 what is the next thing we need to do is we need to find the digit sum of each of the one so the digit sum of 4 plus digit sum of 12 plus digit sum of 10 is equal to uh, digit sum of 26 what is the digit sum of 4? It is 4 only. Plus digit sum of 1 is one, 12 is 1 plus 2. That is 3. Plus digit sum of uh, 10 is 1 plus 0. That is 1. And digit sum of 26 is 2 plus 6. That is 7. So 4, 5, 6, 7 and uh, 8. This is 8. Sorry here. So 2 plus 6 is 8. So 8 is equal to 8. So LHS is equal to RHS here. And here also LHS is equal to RHS. Now they asked your task is to find the number of good triples for the given n. So if uh, you are adding three numbers, you are getting an answer. And if you are able to reduce it to the digit sum and still the answer remains same, LHS equal to RHS, then it is a good triple. We have to find how many good triples exist for a particular n uh, using the following condition. Now, the order of the number matters here. For example, this 4, 12, 10 is different from 10, 12, 4. Both are very much different. They are not the same. That's all. So. We took uh, some number and 4, 12, 10 is working. Uh, so let's take some other number. It's like, it can be a bit more complex. Let's say uh, we are taking it like n equal to 26 and a, b, c. What can be the value? This can be 9 and 6 and 11, right? So 9, 6, 11, as you know, 15 plus 11 is 26. Now, if I reduce it to digit sum, what happens? This is 9 plus 6 plus 1 plus 1 will become 2. 2 plus 6 becomes 8. Now, uh, they told that this is 26, but for 26, this is one other combination. Here, as you see, what is uh, 9 plus 6 plus 2? 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus, uh, 8 plus 9 is how much? 17. And 17 is definitely not equal to 8. So this is for 9 plus 6 plus 11, it is 26. But uh, if you reduce it to digit sum, it is not working. So for 26, this is one possible case. This is not a possible case. We have to understand like why this is not working, but the below one is working. So if you observe closely, right, you see 9 here, 6 here, normal addition. How do we do? 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 plus 6 is 16. And as you see, there is a carryover that is coming here. Then only this 2 is formed. Okay. So if a carryover comes, where can you place the carryover? Should you place here? Should you place here? Or should you place at last? We don't know, right? So it's 26 here. So that's why the sense of uh, change comes. So uh, why does carryover effect here is individually also we can't separate it. We will sum only the individual numbers at last, right? There is no carryover concept here. And if a carryover concept comes here also, we are uh, taking individual only. So since this is a bit complicated, let's take a very simple example. Let's not take any two digit or three digit example. Let's take a very simple example like uh, 13 n value as 13 and we can take 5 5 and 3 5 5 plus 5 plus 3 is how much it is 13 here and if you find the digit sum after reducing to digit sum what happens this is 5 this is 5 and this is 3 but the digit sum of 13 becomes what 4 now again the sum of all of this after digit sum is 13 but the sum of all of this of the digit sum on the RHS is 4. So this is not working. Why is it not working? Again here the carryover happens and if carryover happens here you don't have a position for that one to fit in. So that's why we say that we, uh, we, we should not use any carryover. So let's take one example like uh, if there are no carryovers right for, <coughs> for simplicity uh, we can take 111 and 333 3, 3. so this is correct right n is n value is 333 3, 3, and uh, a b c value is 111 i take the sum of this it is 333 3, 3. now if i don't have carryover 
I can definitely assume that at the ones place, I just need to consider every number at the ones place only. At the tens place, I just need to consider every number at the tens place only. And at the hundreds place or so on, we have to consider only those numbers. If there are no carryovers. Now, if we find the digit sum of all of this, how do we find digit sum? Digit sum of all of this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we got the digit sum as 9 here on the LHS part. RHS part what? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is also 9. Since this is made up here, we can definitely say that both of them are same. But if carryover comes, since we are taking the digit sum at the answer also, then this number gets different. So that is the entire logic that is uh, getting happening here. We are not taking individual numbers. We are taking individual numbers here. And that's all about it. Now, can. 111 is one possible approach, but we can say that 102 is also possible, 201 is also possible, 003 is also possible, many combinations can come. So what do we do? To get 3, uh, we put 3 loops here. So like from 0 to 9, you run the outer loop, 0 to 9, you run the inner loop, and 0 to 9, again you run the inner loop. Now you try to collect all the possible combinations that are there. And whenever a number has been formed, you increment the frequency of that number. Suppose 3 can occur like 5 times, 3 can occur like 6 times, many times. So, what does, uh, how do we calculate it is, total number of combinations to form this, that is let's say x, into total number of combinations to form this, that is y, into total number of combinations to form 3, such that there are no carryover is z. z into y into x are the total number of combinations. So, how did we code it? So you put an outer loop, inner loop, then again inner loop. So you just add everything and in, uh, increment the value. Here there will be one more doubt. Like uh, if 9 plus 9 plus 9 is 27. But as I told earlier, only we have to consider only this one, right? Why are we taking 27 here? So since the constraints are small, we are just taking all the possible combinations. While taking answer, we will handle it. So even if 27 comes, we will, we in no way, we gonna calculate this. So it is just generally taking it. If you don't want to get this uh, two digit values, you can put like nine minus i, nine minus i minus j like that. Now, why did I take the string? Why did I take the number as a string? Suppose if 333 comes, I can take individual value. That is three mod, 30, 333 mod 10 will give this. Then put this in frequency and divide it by 10. Then take the modulus of the 33 mod 10 again gives 3 like that. But I just want to make it simple. So let's take it as a string and take the first number that is 3. As you know, uh, count of 3 represents that is this is character 3, right? Character 3 minus character 0 will give you the uh, number 3. That is ASCII values. If you differ, we get the number. So count of three, let's say if it is like uh, like seven ways I am able to count three, I'm just uh, multiplying it to the answer. So it's like combination, right? So how many ways you can fill the number here? How many ways you can fill the number here? How many ways you can fill the number? At last, you can just multiply all of them. So here, if in this case, it is count of that individual element and count of the next individual element into the count of the next individual element. So by this way, you'll be able to get the answer. Again, what did we do? We understood that uh, to form a number, we need three numbers according to the question. Then we have to reduce it to the digit sum. The LHS and the RHS should be same. So for 26, we found out. For 26, it is working, but we have to try for another combination. So we tried some random example like 9, 6, 11. From 9, 6, 11, we understood that this is not working since it's LHS 17 and 8. Uh, we have to see like what's going on wrong here. So we saw that some extra one is coming. Uh, since extra one is coming, it may happen that it might be the issue, but we don't know. So we took even more smaller number, no two digits, only single digit numbers. So if we take only single digit numbers, we understood that in there also, because of that extra carryover, if it comes to answer, the digit sum on the RHS changes. So the we are making sure uh, only those uh, ones place, tens place, hundred place, only that position is getting affected. We will find all the combinations of a number where there is no carryover through uh, triple for loop, then count the frequency for that particular number, how much ever it's happening from zero to nine. Then at last I iterate through each number. I take the number and get the frequency. So if uh, it is three here, I can say that there are eight or nine ways to form the three. If it is four or five here, four, I can say that there are like uh, 10 ways to form it. And uh, 
for if it is some number it will be like seven ways something like that then you just multiply it so you will get all the combinations that are available so and uh, this is the submission link and uh, let me know how did you like the video if you like it please let me know in the comments so that uh, it will be a great encouragement for me to upload more videos that's it guys and uh, please share your doubts also in the comments we'll be glad to resolve it so see you in the next video